Hey guys, how you doing? We're going to do a um, Daisy all possible optimizing uh, optimal settings for all your files. So you don't need to look at ten different videos to figure out which files to change. It's not going to be just one or two things. It's going to be everything you can possibly change. Okay, start off. Uh, download Seven Zip. Uh, link will be in the description. Once you download Seven Zip, then you want to download Nvidia Inspector. Okay, with NVIDIA Inspect, you then open it with 7-zip, extract it to your documents, um, make a file. So it should look like this. Uh, what's it called? NVIDIA Inspector. There you go. And then you open NVIDIA Inspector like that, or send a copy to your desktop, and then open that. Uh, open it as administrator. If you want to do overclocking. You don't have to uh, do overclocking. When I'm not going to do overclocking. If you do, you have to open it as uh, administrator. If not, just open it normally. It'll come up with a bunch of stuff. This tells you your heat, temperatures, same thing. Um, what your graphics card speed is running at, what your boost is, whatever. All right, go to your driver profile settings. And your profile settings, it'll come up with your base profile, which is every single game possible. You don't want to change every single game possible. Just Yep, unoptimized games like DayZ. Um, DayZ, there we go. As soon as you open it, you'll notice a few things changed in here. More things changed down the bottom, but you don't need to look at that. You're probably not going to understand it like I don't. If you do, go for it. Apply it, and then close it, and then close that. Next, you go to NVIDIA Control Panel. Again, if you're um, using an AMD card, this is obviously going to work for you guys, but except for NVIDIA Control Panel and NVIDIA Inspector. The rest will work, so forget these two parts. So next we go to uh, NVIDIA Control Panel. So to open NVIDIA Control Panel, just open the little thing up, right click the green thing, open NVIDIA Control Panel. If that's not there for you, just type in NVIDIA and it should come up with the Control Panel up the top. Okay, so once you open it up for the first time, click Manage 3D Settings. Uh, it'll be on Global Settings, so click Program Settings. Go down to DayZ. If DayZ is not there, it'll probably be on another game. Click Add. Go to Browse. Go to Computer. It'll be in um, the original storage file if you, unless you've changed where it's going to be. So original is Program Files 86. Then it'll be Steam. Then it'll be Steam Apps. Then it'll be Common. Then it'll be DayZ. Then you go to the DayZ.exe and you open that up. For me, it's not there. It's in Local Disk, Games, Steam Apps, Common, DayZ. Daisy, open. Done. Okay. So once that's opened up, you then will see this, right? Fuck. Wrong game. Daisy. Go to power management mode. Prefer maximum performance. This makes it use all your GPU. Then go to vertical sync and chuck that on adaptive. That'll make it look nicer. Once that's done, um, click apply. I've already done it, so I don't need to click apply. Okay, next is daisy.cfg. Okay, to find daisy.cfg, go to your documents, find the daisy folder. Don't worry about daisy copy, that's just a copy of my folders before I changed it. So that if I didn't like it, I could always go back to the originals, which you can do too. Next, go to daisy. And it will come up with this. I suggest changing, to start off with, change it so it looks like mine. Um, don't change local. VRAM and non-local VRAM. Don't change these two. Fuck, we can get it right. Don't change them. Basically, the rest you can change. I don't know what 3D performance is, so don't change. Don't change all of those three. Um, 1920 by 1080. That's your resolution that your screen is going to run out. Don't change that. Don't change this. Um, refresh rate 60. You probably don't want to change that. This is all depending on your monitor, so forget about that. Just do them. You can change HD out of precision under zero if you want. That's up to you. VSync off. Again, change what you like. If you don't like it, you can always bump it up. Okay. Once that's done, go down to uh, go up to this one. This is um, so it would be your computer username at Daisy profile. So um, mine's Bahamut, which is not a fucking Arab. I'm not fucking an ISIS. It's gonna bomb you. Bahamut is um, uh, king of all dragons. It's a mystical creature off of. The Final Fantasy series. Yes, I like Final Fantasy. Um, go in and change these to look like mine. You can change these to look down, so if you want. And so filtering can be zero, texture quality can be zero, text memory leave that at four. That 
depending on how good your computer is. Uh, if you change those too low, the, the game will look crap, but your you, you frames will be incredible. Like I usually run at 10 to 15 frames in cities like Cherno. I just tried it out and I had 35 frames. I will put that in the video to prove it to you. Uh, next we come down to here, so change bloom, rotation, blur, head bob, um, all this to look like mine. You can change the scene complexity, go down about 75,000 if you want, or less, depending on whatever. 100,000 looks good. Anything less than that doesn't look too good. 75,000 is bearable, but not by much. Uh, shadow distance 50, view distance 1 kilometer, preferred view distance 900 meters. Um, 1,000 meters and 900 meters for you Americans. Depending on um, your computer and your style of gameplay, like mine, I have mine so I can see relatively far away because I like to use, um, I like to be a recon, like use my Mosin, my Mosalina. Um, so I like to see people from far away. If you just play in the cities and you're a bandit, there's nothing wrong with that, I don't care. Um, change that down to like 500 and 500 or even 400 and 400 you don't need to see people very far away because you're in a fucking city you know doing pvp so yeah change that to 400 and 400 your frames would be great you'll probably run over 60 frames in the cities uh, well actually you won't you run at 60 frames because you change your vsync onto adaptive and control panel but if you got an amd card you're probably going to run more than 60 frames unless you put vsync on in game Terrain grid, um, I recommend putting that on 6.5. Again, you can change that to about 12.5. Uh, I mean, double that would be third. No, what is it? 3.125, 6.25, that's what I've got wrong. 6.25, and then you can change it to 12.5 if you want. So I recommend 6.25, that looks pretty good. Actually looks great. 3.125 is the best. 6.25 is second best. 12.5, 25, then 50. The higher it is, the lower the quality. Um, that's about it that you're going to change there. So if, you, if your computer sucks, chuck it on like 25 to 50, or probably 12.5. I tried 12.5, it looks horrible. And that'll do. Okay, so save that and get out of it. Next is your in-game settings. You obviously know what the location of that is. <coughs> I hope. Try not to mess around with these if you can help it. Like if you need to change something, then change it. But um, changing it just changes the settings that you just changed. So if you can help it, don't do it. If you can't help it, then do it. Expect your frames to go back to shit. Um, let's just run around and check out my frames. Look how great they are. 50 in channel. Oh. 40 in Cherno, that's excellent. You know, you can imagine if I got into a battle with someone. I wouldn't have to worry about, oh no, desync. No, um, no screen tearing, nothing. Looks great. It's nice and smooth, it's steady, it's not up and down spiking. Um, like, by spiking, I mean like from 15 frames to 40. It's stable because V-Sync um, in your control panel is on adaptive. It's not fully on. If you got it fully on, then yeah, I don't like it. So that's it for this tutorial, um, peoples. Uh, if you liked this video or it helped you, like and subscribe and check out my other videos. See you next time.